hello guys welcome to the new video in this video i will be talking about how you can contact ircc and vfs regarding your queries or to submit any documents or if you even want to check the status of your current application there might be different things you need to ask ircc and there might be different challenges as well so in this video i will be talking about the practical tips about how you can contact them which is the efficient method and how you should do this this method is applicable for all kind of queries for any type of visa and these are practical tips so first start with ircc so ircc you can contact using the web form this is the official channel which you should use most of the time if you want to upload any document if you want to ask any information or you want to convey anything to them like change in your address change in an email change in any kind of family status like any new birth or uh, your marriage or anything you want to convey you should use this web form this web form description uh, I have already provided and the link is right here on the screen. I will be giving the same link in the description of this video as well. Directly copy and paste that video in your browser and you can start your query right away. The second option is call IRCC. Now the important thing here is now IRCC is sharing a number which is available only for uh, local Canadian purpose earlier they used to have a overseas number as well but now they are not entertaining overseas calls so they have provided one Canadian number now the question is if you are in some other country for example in India how you are gonna use this number to call IRCC it's easy there are multiple apps available which provides a local Canadian number I have mentioned one app here phone go so in some apps are paid and some apps are free to use with a limited use so in that case you can download that app on your phone and then acquire a local canadian number and then use this number to call ircc so uh, uh, other practical tip here is the agent on the other side uh, will not be able to change your application in other way provide the decision on that or modify your application in any kind he will be having the same information which you can see on your online account status page so if you are calling them again and again asking some information or want to modify anything do not use this option use the first web form option second practical tip there will be a long hold for this call around 35 40 minutes in the normal hours or the peak hours it could be more than two hours so call them around uh, as soon as they open so basically i used to call them at around 5 to 6 a.m india timing or sometimes late in the night india time so uh, you can use the same timing so that you can have a less call volume and you know to wait longer third practical tip here is whenever you call them you keep all the information handy uh, like your uci number your application number your name address phone number details everything because if they want some uh, information for the security purpose then you need to provide them immediately third thing is twitter so twitter is one of the fastest and reliable mechanism to contact ircc i have mentioned the twitter handle here on the screen most important thing is you note down this handle and you use exactly the same alphabets in the handle as I have mentioned because I have seen multiple accounts on Twitter claiming to be IRCC uh, account but they are not they just modify one or two characters in this for example removing one A from Canada or appending one underscore after it or some other change and then you will be sharing your information with them if you follow their handle so just be very careful when you deal with Twitter and IRCC you need to follow this handle there is a blue tick mark available uh, just on the top of the handle whenever you follow any official Twitter handle of IRCC or any other reputed person or the organization so always confirm you have a blue handle on that blue tick on that handle and then use it you can also you can mention uh, your problem in the direct message as well they respond back or you can mention the in the uh, uh, their twitter page as well so they uh, respond back if you are to having too generic complaint or if you are repeatedly uh, like pinging them they might avoid you they might ignore you so better just mention your problem if they are not responding back in two or three days you can ask again second piece of advice from the practical uh, experience 
do not abuse them do not curse them do not use any rude or harsh word there because these guys are here to help and if you use them uh, use the uh, curse words or any bad words on them it is not gonna having any positive impact on your request fourth chat with virtual assistant so this is a recently launched uh, uh, mechanism basically if you go to the web form page and option one you will see a chat option over there but the chat option is not giving you much information it will just provide you the basis uh, basic information of your application and the basic things so this is not very helpful but yes, this is there if you need any help Fifth and the most important thing is GCMS notes. So if you really want to have information about what's going on in your application and how you can contact IRCC, you need to raise a request for GCMS notes. So basically GCMS is the global case management system in which they will provide a copy of your application within I think $5 is the fee and they will provide the complete copy of application where you can see what documents you have submitted, what is the progress in your file, what is the comment made by any official, everything works. Whatever. it takes around 30 days i have another video specific to how you can apply the gcms notes for your application you can follow that so these were all the options you had for ircc contact and now i am moving to vfs so basically in vfs they already have a web form in which you need to provide which visa you are applying from which country and then they have a tracking option for example if i talk about you are in india and you are uh, applying a visa to canada then uh, you can uh, drop them a mail info.canada at vfshelpline.com and they also have a vfs global twitter handle just the same thing which i said in case of ircc be very careful when you use the twitter handle do not pass your information to anyone else call helpline number and they do have three helpline numbers if you need any information you have a question just call these helpline number from any Indian or any international number be careful when you talk to someone on Twitter you should not talk to any person who is just pretending to be a VFS or IRCC guy regarding the, uh, the helpline number and email you need to provide all the information whatever you have the UCI number application number VFS tracking ID number and the VFS will help you so this was the content from today now I am going to show you how you can uh, fill up the web form thing so just give me one moment right so I am right here in the CICGC.ca page and you can see I have already opened the web form.esp which I have told you in this uh, web page you need to provide the thing so you need to first check I want to what you want to need you want to uh, ask about your application you want to ask about uh, any change in your application or anything then you need to provide your client ID number UCI one thing if you have not applied to ircc any time in past or now then you do not have a uci number you cannot use this web form or if you use this there will not be any uci number you can leave it blank but if you have ever applied for ircc you must have a uci number mention that that will help them to answer your question very quickly so in this case just go to tell us more this page you open and it will ask a couple of more questions and then you can get your answers now talking about the twitter so in twitter as you can see there is a blue tick as i have mentioned in the ppt part that in ircc uh, official account you can see a blue logo so if the blue tick is there it means this account is official you can you can mention whatever you like here or you can just uh, write them a tweet okay and they will follow you for any answers and same thing happened at for the vfs so you can just mention vfs global and you can see we have the first logo as vfs global so here you can see this blue tick so this is the official account of vfs global whenever you want to have any information from vfs you need to use this option you can just drop a direct message to them or you can just talk to talk to them in any other way right so that was all for today's video guys i will be mentioning all the links all the twitter handle in the description part of the video if you have any question concerns or anything just drop a comment and i will reply back to you thank you so much guys have a nice day